Okay, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to create your own cotton plant uh, by germinating the cotton seeds. And um, I actually went to Winn-Dixie uh, one day and I was in the floral department and I seen a, a stalk of cotton, uh, which had a bunch of cotton balls on it. I guess people buy that for decorations. But I was feeling the cotton and I says, you know what, there's seeds in here and I wonder if I can germinate them and grow my own cotton plant. So I took it home and I actually took one seed out of the cotton ball and I germinated it. And um, I've got uh, a nice little cotton plant growing. So basically all you have to do once you get the cotton ball with the seeds in it is you have to take out the seeds. So you can simply, you know, just run your fingers through the cotton and you can see, you'll see that I've got five of them already right here. But you gotta pull the cotton apart away from the seed and then you'll get a, a nice little cotton seed. Now, there's a bunch of them in here. There's probably 20 of them just in this little ball. But uh, we're only going to use these five. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to germinate them first in a little container. And I'll be back in a minute. i got to go get that container and I'll be back. See you shortly. Okay, we're back. As you can see, we've got a little Tupperware, uh, a little uh, plastic Tupperware with a cover. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wet a piece of paper towel, okay? And you don't have to wet the whole thing, just, you know, kind of make it moist. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna lay the uh, cotton seeds inside the, the uh, paper towel. That's all you have to do. Okay, and then what you do is you just fold it up like this nice and neatly because you're going to want to check to make sure that they're sprouted when they sprout. It usually takes about two or three days. Okay, and just fold it up like that and you don't do it tightly, just do it nice and loose. Oh, we forgot one. Hold on. Okay, so we have six and, and make sure that you separate them because they're going to have roots. It's going to start sprouting. Just fold it up. Grab your little Tupperware cup, put it inside, and cover it. And you, you totally seal it because we want the moisture to stay inside the canister. And that's it. We're going to come back in a couple of days, and we're going to see if we've got some, uh, some sprouted cotton seeds. We'll see you then. Okay, so here we are, day four. We've had the, uh, the little canister in the kitchen cabinet where it was nice and dark for the last four days. And uh, we're going to see if these uh, cotton seeds have gone ahead and sprouted. So here we go. See our paper towel still in there. We're just going to take this out nice and carefully. We're going to open it up. And there you go. You've got six sprouted cotton seeds and they're ready to plant. Now, once you plant them in a couple of days, the shell will actually come off and you'll see the leaves. In fact, this one right here, you can see the green leaf right there, as a matter of fact, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna plant them now and uh, we'll be back shortly. They're ready to go. Okay, we're back. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, plant these uh, little seedlings. And as you'll notice, I've got a little uh, starter cup uh, with miracle Grow in it, which works pretty good. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these seeds, going to pull them, some, pull them apart, and you'll see how long the root is. We're just going to take a pen. We're just going to make a hole in the dirt. I'm gonna stick the seed, the uh, root right in there. Right in the little hole. And just put the, uh, the seed uh, just below the surface a little bit and squeeze it together. Now once we water this pot, in a couple of days you'll see that these are gonna sprout. And then we'll have leaves. So basically just create the holes, stick the little seedlings in there, the roots, 
stick it down in there a little bit just below the, the surface make another one stick that little seed right in there press around the dirt a little bit around the seed there goes another one few days we're gonna have like six little new little cotton plants stick them right in there and then we'll go ahead and we'll stick these other two right in the middle press the dirt around the seed a little bit and number number six Take that seed, stick it right in there. There you go. So now basically what we want to do is we just want to water that a little bit. Kind of moisten it up a little bit. So let me just grab some water. We just want to make it a little damp so that we can start the seeds. And that's it. We'll be back in a couple of days and we'll see what the progress is. See you soon. Okay, here we are. We're back after four days. We planted the seedlings four days ago and you'll see that we've got uh, three that are really starting to take off. These here and you'll see the leaves. And then if you, uh, we're going to turn it around, you're going to see this one over here. This is number four, but you'll see that it's still got the uh, seed casing on it, which will fall off eventually. And then we've got the other one, which is number five, right here. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of days, and, and I'm going to show you how fast these uh, cotton plants actually grow once they're, once they're planted from the seedlings. Until then, we'll see you later. Okay, we're back. Here we are 10 days later. So basically that's 14 days since we first seen the uh, cotton seeds sprout. And you'll see that the plants are coming right along. There's six of them. I think the last time we didn't even see uh, the other ones were just coming up. You'll see that these are the, the small ones right here. As a matter of fact, if you'll notice, on this plant here, you'll see that the cotton seed shell is still on that leaf. And that will fall off eventually. Um, as a matter of fact, you can't even take it off right now because it's stuck so hard to the leaf, but it will drop off. And there you go. Our next step is to separate these plants and uh, transplant them into a bigger pot. And until then, we'll see you later. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're back. What we want to do is we want to take these plants out of the pot and we're going to separate them and we're going to uh, transfer them into a larger pot. So you got to be very careful. What I would do is just tip the, the pot upside down, kind of squeeze around the edges and it'll fall right out just like that. And then what we're going to do is just lay it down on the side and we really don't want to disturb the roots too much. so. If you just shake the dirt a little bit, you're going to see it, it, it's going to start separating the plants. And we want to keep as much of the, uh, the root for each plant intact so we don't disturb them. So kind of try to grab them like a little, a little ball and just set them to the side. Shake up the dirt a little bit. There's another one. Try to keep as much dirt on the root as you can. There's another one. 
Just take them apart a little bit. There goes one. And there we are. And basically, you can see that we got a nice little clump, clump of dirt on those roots. We're just going to take this dirt, put it back in the pot, in case we want to make some new ones, germinate some new sprouts or whatever. And then what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to transfer them to the bigger plot, the bigger pot. So I'll be right back. Okay. So here we are. What I've basically done is I've made five little holes in the dirt. We're getting ready to just plant them. And basically all you have to do is pick up the little clump, stick it in a hole, push the dirt over, press it down a little bit, all the way around. And there you go. Now these plants will wilt. What we're going to do though is we're going to water them when we're finished. And uh, by tomorrow morning, you'll see that they'll all be nice and standing straight up and ready to grow. Pressing down a little bit. Make sure you grab the whole ball of, of dirt around the roots as to not disturb the roots too much. Push the dirt around them. Press them down a little bit. Isn't that amazing how many roots they grow? That's 14 days worth of roots. Stick them in there. All done. Now if you want, <clears throat> you'll notice how I press down in the center of the plant that way when you water them a little uh, the water will stay within the uh, the area of the roots so kinda like indent around the roots so that when you water them just like that and there you go now we're just gonna put a little bit of water in them You see how it causes a little puddle in the middle of each plant? And there you go. Next step is when they grow a little bit bigger, they're ready to plant out in the yard. And that's it. That's how you grow cotton seeds from seed to plant. Hope you enjoyed. And that's it for now. Thank you.